Hey, and welcome to another level in the Doom Custom Wad Showcase. This is Undertow.wad, level released on Christmas Day 2000 by Mr. Gregory Dick. Um, yeah, it's, as usual, it's a blind playthrough. We're on Ultra Violence, and let's just see what the level's going to throw at me. So far, we're in an alleyway, a couple of perhaps obscurely placed floor lamps. Well, what's that? Oh, where's the other one? I like the, the sound effects. I'm not saying it's better than the, the vanilla shotgun, but I do like it. Oh, monster closet. Whoa! Ah, thank you, zombie. Kill you. I will kill you last. Okay. Apparently this is two levels long as well. This looks conspicuous. Well, whoa, 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 let's flip the switch first. Well, let's unflip it, let's unflip it. Ow! I'm hoping there's some health. I'll piss off, really? Bloody hell, we are hurting could be a very short playthrough. Oh, I can't seem to get up there. Oh, we've got more, more monsters there. Oh, come on, give me a friggin' stim pack. Design-wise, it's not bad. Whoa! I want to know how he achieved that. Ah, oh, that was that was cool. How the hell did he do that? Um. Right. Well, we'll catch up to where we were and then we'll save. I reckon. Whoa. Ow. We're actually going to save. No, that's not saving. That's saving. Save there. Oh yeah, as usual, we're playing in Doom Retro. So that will be why it looks a little dark. Here, let's turn up the gamma. There. So I know Miss Isabella aired a complaint in, I think it was the Chapel of Romero, about the, the brightness or lack thereof. Which I don't necessarily mind, it's doom and it's meant to look dark. But one of the things that um, they bragged about at the time the doom engine came out was how dark it made things look. Oh, there I was thinking that there was a big drop too. Nothing else there. Obviously this would go a lot easier with some kind of mouse enabling source port, which Doom Retro does do, but I prefer the keyboard config, as I say every episode. Um, I don't want always run, I want. Doesn't seem to be any secrets. Though it looks like back at the start, those windows will open up and reveal probably, I don't know, probably revenants with my life. Ow! Piss off. Suddenly we're back where we were. Just trying to think of how that... How that monster ambush is implemented. We're going to save. How could they have done that? Hmm. There's no wall there. Hmm. That's got me really interested to, to crack this level open in, in Doom Builder and just see what he's done there. Oh my god, it happens again. Oh, 
Oh my god, auto aim. I don't use my key my my mouse, I need the auto aim. The only thing I could think of would be perhaps having a um having a, a wall there. No. Perhaps putting a line def in there that you know that, that lowers or drops. Perhaps something unpegged. It's like here as well. There was nothing there before. I am fascinated to look this up. Oh, there you are. See you. I feel like I can hear shotgunners. We're also going to save again. Hopefully this level doesn't take a great deal longer because I'd like to check out level 2 as well. Well, oh well. So we'll just chip away at these mancubi. Mancubi, mancuboats. I don't think it's ever been settled what the plural of mancubus is. I think I worked out how the how do retro makes the, the water effect ripple like that too? I think what it does is it actually starts from a, a higher position and then kind of undulates back to the stock floor height. If it went the other way around, of course, then it would probably wreak havoc with so many different texture alignments. You can see a super shotgun. This is a really good map. Uh, we'll save. I regret nothing! Oh, whoa! Health. Oh yeah. Now then, that solid waterfall leads me to believe that there's probably something living in it. Told ya. Whoa. Oh wow. Holy crap, how are we not dead? Wow, one hit point doing it! We're doing it! Mr. the Cacodemon's down. Oh! Come on! Everything but health. Oh my god. Oh my god. So close. Ah, uh, okay. Well, it's about halfway. Um, let's just see if we can speed run through this. God damn it. Come on. Thank you. For some reason it just. No. Nope. Alright, well, we're not getting there, so. Check out map two. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear! It's kept me on my fucking two hit points. Oh my god! Let's just save. Uh oh, thank you. Oh, and of course we changed level without getting the super shotgun, didn't we? Oh wow, and a Baron. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, oh my god. Oh wow. Um, yeah, level 2 is hard. Hopefully a little easier with the super shotgun. Oh my god, if we could friggin' hit something. Let's get that baron down here and then we can... Oh, plural, barons. Ow. Ow. My everything. Ow. Hold it. Oh my god, more about... Fuck's sake! I think level two is just immovably fucking difficult. Let's try this from a pistol start. I have no idea how to implement said pistol start though. So we'll do it the old fashioned way. I don't know how to change Doom Retro settings to allow for a outright pistol start, so. Now, I have a feeling that going down there is quite the trap. Fuck's sake, it bottlenecks you in there and there is just nowhere to go. No, I'm sorry, we're not going to get to see any of level 2, which marks it down substantially. Oh my god, are you serious? It just seems to be a room full of, of monsters anyway. There doesn't seem to be anywhere else to go. No, nah, so we're gonna just have a look at this just to see if there is anywhere to actually move. This is really disappointing guys, but what the hell do you do? Um, again, I'm not here to win the game. Right, so there's a door there. There's fucking worse than hit scanners. It's just roadblocks. There's a switch there. Okay, this lowers naturally. There's a lift there, which I did see. Some health there. Chain gun! That would have been so useful about five minutes ago. Oh, and of course, because they've changed the pistol side effect. Maybe they were taking pot shots at me too. Oh well. Oi! Piss off! Can we? We can. Because we can, does not mean we should, however. Of course. Fucking die. Well, it looks good, but I'm stuck on something. What am I stuck on? Oh, there are hanging things up there. No. Okay. What that looks like possibly is that they have perhaps they've simply raised the sector there like you would here to make the stairs. They've brought the floor up and raised that area but they've simply left it with no textures. And I don't know how you would do that, the only other thing I can think of is that they've created another texture that has no texture. And so basically they've made a, a, a wall out of the empty, a wall equivalent to one big long empty space like you'd find in, in the mid-grade texture. It's the only way I can think of to do that. I don't think there is anything in the vanilla textures that will allow for it. I also think this is the end of Zombie Shakespeare. Yeah, it's not looking good. Wow. Okay, well. This is an interesting level. This level, I think, unless you get something really useful, like a plasma gun at the end of level 1, 
think unless that was something we had coming, I don't think that... My god, the auto switch. I don't think that that's... Um... I don't think this is a, a particularly playable level. You need something that's going to deal a lot of damage quickly with a high chance of pain. And right now, all we're seeing is... All we're really getting is the pain. And unfortunately, it's heading our direction. So, this has been Undertow. Let's just have a quick run through. Can we get up? Can we get up? We can. No, but we missed it. Uh, and so here is where we. I think we'll end up calling it. So, yep, this has been Undertow.wad. I give this... It's a really well designed level, it keeps me moving forward, but I think it's just a little too difficult. Just a little bit. Um, and in that, and in that, I really am referring to the start of level 2. That's just mental, unless you get a BFG or, or some, some plasma weapon late in level 1. Level 2 really is just unplayable at the start there on a higher difficulty. Um, I shall research whether anyone else has done that though, and I'll link it in the video description if it's there. Which means I probably will forget because this is me. And on that bit of friendly bloodshed, I shall say cheers, and I will see you all in whatever I showcase next.